welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy that you guys are here with me right now hopefully this microphone is picking up very clear and crisp and nice i just want to say today's video honestly just sit with me and just let's have a moment together okay i don't want to call it a vlog and i don't want to call it something else until you know i get to like just a general view of how it will turn out but my intention as we speak right now is to get it together with you guys i recently expressed in my previous video that i've started my self-love journey and for that journey i really want to be intentional and i really want to inspire you guys if possible as well so that's why you're gonna mostly see me come on this channel and just like talk about stuff that's really going on for me this is like real-time journeys real-time updates like real-time experiences and hopefully like i said i can inspire you maybe entertain you maybe provide you with i don't know just a different perspective but yeah my name is shakira welcome to my channel i am fully jamaican love being jamaican um today i have my hair out in a pineapple again because i didn't have time to you know do the style that i want to comb it in and um you'll probably see my hair in a designated style soon i hope um definitely by the weekend i want to see if i can get that out the way but i for one i'm excited to get to that like militarily i'm excited to get to that i'm not even rushing the process of combing my hair or doing certain things like, i just feel like one step at a time for real because it's a lot going on and we're human sometimes we need to just slow down you know? because we be giving ourselves so much pressure on top of the pressure that the world gives us like come on giving y'all the intro to the video in a sense and i hope that is sufficient oh no it's not because i didn't tell y'all to subscribe so you already know what to do hit that subscribe button if you really want to show my channel some support and love if you really feel like what i am doing is impactful and good and just something that you would like to embrace more of you know definitely show the channel some support you can do that by subscribing number one subscribe please hit that like hit that share turn on your post notifications comments i love to engage with you guys just do all of that stuff okay whatever you're comfortable with doing but the number one thing please hit subscribe and please watch the video you know hopefully like i said i can give you a very substantial reason to stick around but if you just want to show support because i tend to do that as well then just just do that you know what i mean i got curry goat because i love curry goat guys curry goat is literally one of my favorite things to eat i'm jamaican like i said so we indulge in things like that curry goat oxtail jerk chicken fish like all that we, we just love good food and I feel like a well-made plate of curry goat is it literally can just turn your entire day around like your entire month like if they really make it with all by love you can't tell when somebody cook food with love but I'm gonna get this food out I'm also going to insert my new SD card into my camera because I really needed something quick and fast and in a hurry so that I can record. I didn't want to record everything on my phone. Currently, I am recording from my phone, front facing camera, on the mic, call me unprofessional or whatever, but you're still seeing me clear in the video. So I guess that's all that matters at the end of the day. But I also want to see if I can use my camera to also capture content. And it's so cool being able to show you on my camera as well. <laughs> We're in cinematic view, so you're not gonna get a focus on my camera. If you guys are curious about like my camera, I could create a designated video for y'all on my camera and just my experience with it, whatever I know about it. Maybe if you want to start a YouTube channel, I can give you advice and such and such. You know what? I'm probably going to create a video like that. So let me know if you are excited to see a video like that that would be really really cool the one that i currently use is being occupied with my computer because for some reason like i told you all in my previous video i've been editing stuff and i come like say i cannot like complete the process because every time i format my sd card everything that i've worked on on my computer is just completely unaccessible and therefore is null and void can't use so i'm gonna have to delete it and then you guys don't get videos 
can't have that that system is very inefficient so i'm like maybe i need to have multiple sd cards but i should have already had that in mind so the plan is to also invest in more sd cards but this will be sd card number two so yeah really really surprised it took me this long to get my second sd card because it's been close to a year of recording content and i've only had one sd card 128 gigabytes can you guys imagine how i managed to like make my content and it's long form like i'm now getting into doing shorter form content but i mostly enjoy doing long form content if i'm being real with you but short form content i'm getting into that but imagine having to all of that with one sd card and storage which is obviously always like a you know there's limitations with storage on your devices and stuff and stuff so that being said i'm proud of myself for putting all the videos that i have for you guys being a small youtube channel is not easy but i'm telling you one thing about my channel i love this channel and i view this channel as like something so dear to my heart it's passion it's full of passion like i don't just edit videos and it's like bleh no i enjoy the process so much and i really hope that y'all enjoy the video outcomes as well because you know that is extremely important and yeah like it really comes from my heart like just not every single video i post comes from my heart and your girl is only getting better with time you know what i'm saying let's get this all started before my chat off on the ears because i'm really hungry and i really want to see if the sd card is compatible with my camera and it should be so let's just get into it let's just get into it hi so we're recording on the camera now big difference honestly i'm a little record on the camera i love recording with my phone also but maybe like i say i want to have my phone available to me to do stuff on with me i record with my phone i literally cannot do anything with my phone apart from this record so i wanted to show y'all um so you know this is one piece right one piece right here So y'all know this is one piece tell me why as i'm sitting on eating i heard someone playing that song upstairs any song with brooke always up there y'all know that song right okay well they were playing it upstairs i don't know who was playing it but whoever was playing it no respect i love you from afar i don't know who you are but the fact that you like one piece like that i mean, just have woolly power respect for you bro or mom or you know whoever you are roses mm. but yeah that was a good feeling a while ago in my life because i love one piece and whenever i hear somebody else talk about one piece and i'm still in love it too i just like get so happy Y'all have a show, right? Or like a movie or just something in life where if somebody else talk about it, you feel really engaged with that conversation because that's just your something that you enjoy as well. If you guys have anything like that in particular, share it in the comment section. Tell me what things y'all like as well. Like if you watch anime, what anime do you watch? And which ones you like? And maybe which ones you don't like as much. And if you say you don't like one piece, don't even comment that. Okay, don't even comment that you don't like one piece. You don't like one piece, give it to your soul because so guys, to be honest, I've been sitting here organizing myself a little bit. Not gonna lie, I've been scrolling through my TikTok. I did create a new TikTok. If you don't know, now you know I have been way more active on my TikTok. So if you guys use TikTok, you should definitely check me out over there as well. Let me know what y'all wanna see from time to time. It's really cold in the school building right now and I'm trying to figure out if like, there would be any other place where I would want to sit down to get my work done because I'm literally freezing. I might have to put my trench coat back on. 
crazy part is my trench coat is not gonna be extremely helpful because it is not very thick since I wanted to just like give myself a fresh start I'm like I'm gonna start a new planner so that's what I'm doing right now I'm going to create a new planner organize it and see if I can just get myself on track you know I'm being so honest with you guys like no idea what I'm doing at all. I'm just doing it. I guess that's one thing about being on a journey. Like, sometimes it's nice to have other people's input, but sometimes I really have to just go through some beats to know how you're going to like manage it for real. So that's what I'm doing. You know, instead of instead of feeling completely clueless and you know further in my i don't know frustration by trying to find answers that don't necessarily apply to my particular situation i'm just like i'm gonna use my critical thinking and I'm just gonna use my own like just I don't know, have compassion and patience with myself and use that to help me find a way to like really make this journey make sense right now like it's winter time officially and i need to start dressing more for winter because this is not working out We have made it to a comfortable seating and this part of the video is going to be really important because I want to talk with you guys about my journey. Here in my handy dandy iPad, I have some notes written down. I want to read off of some of what I wrote because I just don't want to miss any points and I want to keep my video as structured as possible. The reason why the self-love journey is so important to me is because it is going to give my life so much more perspective and I think discipline and intentionality it's so important for me to really embrace this journey for real this time like fully I cannot explain to y'all how much I have started over and over and over again but you can start over so many times it doesn't make your journey any less important than the others all of them are very crucial to who you are right now and I know that this current self-love journey that I want to embrace is going to be very crucial to who I am going to be moving forward so that's why I'm so excited about this journey I'm also nervous because I know that it's going to require that I let loose all things that are not serving me in my life anymore and sometimes those things can be vices you know those things can be people and places and sometimes those hobbies and things that we like to do that you know aren't so good for us and honestly it's going to require that i see myself in a way that is more positive and i'm be so honest with y'all i doubt myself sometimes i know it might seem impossible or just like you doubting yourself you are a youtuber and i don't know how other people see me in this life they probably see me as so many different things but god knows who i really am i know who i, I I am learning who I really am so no one's you know definition of anything really the whole point is for me personally because this is what matters my opinion towards myself and God's opinion towards me I feel like I do doubt myself and a part of my self-love journey is to overcome my doubts and to replace that with true confidence and I want to say a humility that is going to be just so contagious, I hope, and inspirational and 
does so many things. So I want to tell y'all what I'm planning to pursue this week with my self-love journey. So this week, I made a list of one, two, three, four, five, six things I would like to pursue. And out of these six things, only five of them I consider to be crucial to this first week of my self-love journey because I consider today to be day one officially. I mean, I've spoken about it in the last video, but I didn't really consider that to be day one. It was just more so here's a prelude, you know, to the whole thing. So you can consider today being officially day one. And I've already learned a few things on day one, which is crazy, but let's just get into what I want to pursue this week. I really want to tap into discipline, time management, spending time with myself, working on my personal projects. I also want to organize my planner, do some hair care and the sixth one was to organize my finances more. I figured if I had extra room in the week to focus on other things, I could focus on that one. That one is more so, I think, crucial to the following weeks coming up. But for this week, the very first week of my self-love journey for real, I want to focus on discipline because I feel like discipline is going to be so important for me taking the steps that I need to take. Because sometimes y'all be so honest the reason why i don't know the things that i know i should do is because i have no motivation towards it completely i mean i'll know that i need to get it done but i will literally not do it because there's no motivation it's so much easier to just do something else and do nothing the easiest thing is to do nothing at all okay and then sometimes doing nothing at all is the hardest thing because you know when you want to do something that's when you have nothing to do but when you don't want to do anything, that's when you have so much to do. I want to function not based off of feeling motivated, but feeling disciplined and being disciplined, I should say, because the difference is so major. Discipline ensures that you get it done no matter what. Motivation runs out. Discipline because it gives you an opportunity to be consistent and to have constants and those constants can transform into your default and that will be a win-win because if your default is to just do the thing that you know is going to benefit you or make you better then you really are on the right path and you don't have to ever worry about like not being the best version of yourself because your default is to be the best version of yourself it's a really big thing y'all because I personally struggle with time management. I'm not gonna be on this video trying to like save face and make it seem like I manage my time the best. Guys, no. <laughs> As of right now, in this very moment in this video, I am not very great with managing my time. However, moving forward, my intention is to really overcome this time management issue and become much better at doing that. I think the biggest thing this week is definitely going to be discipline, organizing my planner, which is pretty straightforward, um, spending time with myself, working on my personal projects. My YouTube channel, I consider that to be a personal project. My TikTok, I also consider that to be a personal project because I get to create things and I get to show y'all my journey. So I feel like right now, the phase that I'm in currently with this portion of my, you know, um, pursuits, I would say, is to bring awareness to the journey so that the following week when I'm doing things related to it, y'all won't be surprised like what's going on or what is going on. <laughs> So yeah, um, when I mentioned hair care, I really was talking about how just wanting to put my hair in a protective style. I typically do protective styles because they help to keep my hair together. Because you know, when your hair looks good, I feel like it helps to boost your confidence and you don't have to worry about that on top of everything else that you gotta worry about during the day, such as eating, sleeping, commuting, working, and just trying to survive, mental health, and everything else on top of taking care of your hair is a lot. Especially when you got hair like mine, like this is a lot guys. It's very time consuming. And when I cut my hair, people are like, 
why do you cut your hair but it's like it's literally is so freeing i'm not saying go out there and cut your hair but i don't feel like it's a loss when i cut my hair if anything i feel like it gives me a second chance or another opportunity to really start my journey with my hair again and i feel like the shorter it is the easier it is to take care of but but I feel like that's more so just subjective depending on what's going on in my life because I'm in a very busy season I don't really wear my hair out like this all the time you know I love my hair out like this but I don't wear it like this all the time because it's not sustainable you know so I'm like well I need to figure out something that works for me and for me currently I love doing protective styles so the protective style that I'm gonna do you're most likely going to see that at some point in my next video or the video after that but y'all are gonna eventually see it and um you can let me know what you think when you eventually do see it in the comment section or you know wherever in the comment section um yeah and i think when i refer to like organizing my planner i think it's pretty straightforward you just want to maybe start a new planner like this would be my advice to you if you want to maintain a planner with your self-love journey you could start a new planner like you may have a current planner and if you really like how it is already then go ahead continue on with that but if you feel like your planner is probably um not as aesthetic as you want it to be or it's just not complete or you want to just like start fresh go ahead and don't be scared to start a new planner i know the end of the year is pretty much like right around the corner but doesn't mean you cannot start a new planner guys don't be scared just start a new planner and from there what i should be doing or what we should be doing is keeping it updated consistently and maybe you can afford to do that on a daily basis nothing is gonna stop me from updating my planner on a daily basis anymore i'm so intentional about this because i feel like every time i start a planner i'm good for the first week and then i fall off and it's like what is going on i don't like gaps i like when i do something that i keep it consistent it's so like if one day i completely fill out my pages designated to each day of my like life in my planner the following day i would like to do the same thing but not every day looks the same like sometimes one day is busier than another day so like how do you juggle doing all of that okay and because i feel like i'm slightly more of a perfectionist than i am just like okay if things don't fully go as planned like it irks me like it bothers me if i don't really keep it consistent so whenever that happens i feel like i have gaps in my planner and my planner doesn't feel coherent and i'm like uh gotta start again so i'm not really scared to start a new planner but this time around i really want to see the longevity that comes with this self-love journey and my planner like i would love to see if i can maintain a planner long term very organized detailed or not detailed but just very consistent in information in transitions in codes whatever you know your planner is about just like keep it consistent and keep it straightforward you don't have to overcomplicate things i tend to overcomplicate things a lot like sometimes i write something and i'm like mm, no i need to make some crazy unknown font and i'm like okay i do it and then i realize yeah that's not working on no, no. like why did i see you could just go ahead and just write you don't have to make it perfect don't be like me miss overthinker sometimes i overthink a lot and i feel like i do that when i write it's like instead of focusing on what your writing looks like focus on the content of what you are writing down if it matters to you that much what your writing looks like just take your time with it make sure that you are satisfied with every single stroke that you make however do not dwell on it you know just sometimes keep it simple if you don't know how else to like make it super creative and satisfactory at the same time because then you will not put extra pressure on top of your mind trying to figure out how to make it into something that you just aren't able to make it into at that time now just give it a couple days and maybe you'll get some creative juices really erupting like a volcano and then voila 
you have an amazing new font created by you but for now let's just you know be very gentle with ourselves and not apply so much pressure to be perfect or to meet some standard you know because gotta remember that sometimes we are very hard on ourselves and if you're like me i tend to be extremely hard on myself and i need to stop doing that but maybe in the future (laughs) so that is the majority of the chat with y'all that's what i really wanted to say in this video these are the steps that i'm planning to follow for this week and hopefully by the end of the week and by the start of the next one i can give y'all updates and some tips and advice and tricks and things so yeah stay tuned to my channel to find out all about that one last thing i want to say is make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you have not already i really hope that y'all are enjoying the content and you can always comment down below because i love to engage with y'all on my channel make sure that if you're starting any self-love journeys today that you be very intentional and you know that you got this okay so i'll see y'all in my next video thank you for watching and we are out